Hi there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy, and today we are talking about Taurus with Gemini in a relationship. This is actually a part of my YouTube series on the Taurus experience, where I take a look at Taurus in relationships with each member of the Zodiac. And so if you haven't seen my first video where I go a bit more in depth on Taurus in relationships in general, please go back and check that out. Taurus with Gemini is... It's an okay match. I'm not a big fan of this match. That isn't to say that, you know, it couldn't work. Who am I? Um, that isn't to say that if you're a Taurus dating a Gemini, run in the opposite direction. Um, but it's it's a tricky match. It really is. And, and the reason why it boils down to the fact that both signs operate on very different wavelengths. Both signs are of very different temperaments. Taurus is an earth sign, and so Taurus is an energy that really is slow moving and really prefers life to kind of unfold in a way that's predictable and in as slow a pace as possible. Gemini is an air sign, and so Gemini is always on the go, trying to obtain pieces of information. Gemini is very mercurial. Gemini needs stimulation. Gemini needs variety. Gemini needs to mix things up. And so in the beginning, you know, Taurus is going to feel very excited by Gemini's presence. And Taurus is really going to enjoy uh, Gemini's, you know, craziness and, 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 and changeability and, and Gemini's, you know, um, just thirst for experiences and for knowledge and for information. This, these are traits that Taurus will definitely find somewhat fascinating and attracting at first, okay? Um, but eventually Taurus is going to want to kind of slow down the relationship in, in a way that involves more routine and in a way that, you know, sees these two signs coming together, merging and sharing their lives with each other. And Gemini, well, Gemini may be open to this only to a certain extent. Gemini still needs to roam free. Gemini still needs to kind of go off on different intellectual pursuits. And so those are the core differences between Taurus and Gemini. And if you can work through these differences, there's no reason why this relationship couldn't last, okay? As far as the sexual compatibility goes, you know, I think that this boils down to rhythm. You know, Taurus is very slow with lovemaking. Taurus wants to enjoy every single minute of lovemaking. Whereas Gemini is, is, is more, um, you know, Gemini likes to have more fun when it comes to lovemaking, when it comes to sex. Gemini likes variety. Gemini likes to role play. Gemini, quite frankly, doesn't have time to wait <laughs> for Taurus to decide to dive in. Um, and, and so, again... Understanding your differences, your different approaches to lovemaking could be what makes sexual compatibility all the more worthwhile between you, all right? When it comes to disagreements, you know, this is another area to watch. Taurus doesn't like confrontation, and while Taurus will appreciate Gemini's intellect and Gemini's wit, Taurus is more of a common sense kind of energy, very practical. Taurus doesn't need to discuss the why behind the why. Taurus doesn't need to analyze. Taurus needs to take the information that's in front of his or her face and work with it. Whereas Gemini wants to continue the conversation, keep it going, and analyze. Um, and so this can be frustrating for both of you when problems arise in your relationship because Gemini will want to keep pushing the button to see how far we can go in this conversation. Whereas Taurus is like, why don't we just, you know, make dinner and open a bottle of wine and, and just forget about that. And, and that's going to be very difficult for Gemini, okay? So you do have some, some pretty important differences between you, um, which is why I say this relationship, it's okay, it's all right. Um, but if you're able to work through your differences, there is absolutely no reason why this isn't a match that couldn't last. If you want more information, feel free to visit randomnessofrudy.com, and until next time, good luck.